Patrick McIntyre cycling across the world. And you may have waken up this morning and wondered what it was like to cycle across Siberia and uh, what you see all day long. And uh, really what I'm showing you is what I've been looking at for the last couple of thousand miles. Huge great fields, large amounts of wood, a uh, train which you probably can't see in the distance because I'm tracking the trans Siberian Railway. A reasonable amount of traffic, although not a huge amount. What I've discovered is that the lorries tend to drive late morning or afternoon and uh, into the night, but they don't tend to get up so early in the morning. So it's about 8.30 I suppose in the morning here in Siberia on the 11th of July and uh, I'm cruising along. Uh, I'm doing about 22 miles an hour, actually 23 miles an hour. Heart rate is uh, 90 beats per minute. Uh, that's because I'm going on the flat. Um, and uh, it's quite a cool day actually. Luckily, there's a bit of cloud cover for once. And uh, so I'm not boiling as I was yesterday. Yesterday was over 30 degrees. And that really is quite unpleasant for cycling, etc. Anyway, um, as you can see also on the right hand side is an escape lane for me, which has been pretty consistent until you get to a crash barrier, which I'm coming up to now. And the biggest challenge is when you get <laughs> two lorries approaching, overtaking one another. It's okay, most of the times that lorry's just gone past, gives you quite a lot of room unless there's a lorry coming the other way, which gets a bit tricky. But the biggest challenge is two lorries coming towards you. And then it really does get quite interesting. Because you literally have to dive off onto the gravel or into the escape lane or into the fields but where you have a crash barrier you just have to squeeze yourself between a lorry passing and going the other way at 70 80 miles an hour and hope to christ it doesn't hit you and uh that's far yeah. so having said there aren't that many lorries of course i've just been passed by a whole load of them and a chap honky his horn because lots of people do actually hold my horn and I wave back to them. So I think it's encouragement rather than you bloody fool. Who knows? Anyway, over the Trans-Siberian Railway I've just gone and uh, about to go up a hill so I'll be panting a bit more in a minute. So I'll leave you with that very interesting uh, experience which you will only want to suffer for a couple of minutes and which I've been suffering for several months. Hey ho! Off we go. Bye now.